Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're going to continue our playthrough of Alan Wake. We made it to Lover's Peak. We met with the kidnapper. Things, things didn't go well. Uh, we got attacked by a whole bunch of Taken. The kidnapper and I got into a scuffle. We fell off the, the side of the, the lookout there and uh, he ran off. So I am... What? Oh, I don't know if that's what I was supposed to do. <laughs> I got scared. Um, yeah, so we are now we're now chasing the kidnapper. So let's let's carry on. Yeah, so when we fell, we got the kidnapper's gun. So he is, he's unarmed, out in the middle of wherever we are, and so I, I don't think things are going to go particularly well for him. Grab this manuscript page, because story... The site was a mess. The modular office had been pushed off the cliff. Deputy Thornton climbed up from the wreckage excited, breathing hard from the exertion. Nobody there. It's weird. Don't you think that's weird? Bored, Mulligan let out a mighty snort. Hell, it's always weird, Thornton. Just a question of sorting out what kind of weird it is this time around. <laughs> so I guess they're talking about that logging cabin that I was in at the start. The cliff <laughs> pushed off the cliff by the bulldozer. What's when next Barry for me? saw the darkness attack the visitor center, it made him a believer. The men Al said he'd shot, they hadn't been just locals on crank. Somehow the world had changed, like the channel had been switched without warning. You think you're watching a sitcom, and you're really watching a horror show. When the birds started attacking the cabin, Barry wasn't surprised, just terrified. I, I'd be surprised if birds started attacking the cabin. I would also be terrified as well, but... The darkness... Where's a face? Be aware of widowmakers. Ow, he still got me. Whoa. That guy's a beast. Take the rifle, definitely. Shadows stirred and the wind picked up as I ran through the forest. I felt the dark presence turning its gaze toward me. Then the moonlight was blotted out by dark shadows that raced violently across the ground, moving too swiftly to be natural. Darkness gathered between the trees and melted again to reveal the Taken. No natural path had brought them here. All right, Alan. Let's push our way out. Hey! them taken care of. Are we now campgrounds? <laughs> so here's that chainsaw guy. Oh man. Well we're just gonna have to Those guys disappear. That's what that page was telling me that the that they are very very fast and they can blend in and out of vision. 
Great. Just what we needed, Alan. Barry? Ow! The porch is covered with birds. They've got all Hitchcock on me. Stay out of sight. I'm on my way. Don't open the door. What am I crazy? Stay hidden. I'll be there soon. Just make sure you keep the lights on. Why would he open the door? <laughs> I still had to reach Barry at the cabin, but at least I was out of the woods. Yeah, at least we're out of the woods, all right. Let's see if there's anything around here that I can scavenge. God, that jumping is just so pathetic. No. I'd have to get the car from the locked garage. It would get me back to Barry faster, and the headlights were a welcome bonus. Yes. See, this is the open world part that they were toying with. Where would the keys be? Maybe this page will tell the us. The FBI agent's command froze me in place. I considered surrender. It was all falling apart anyway. I could give in, let someone else deal with it. But it felt all wrong. Cold instinct, his posture, the way he held the gun. He was no friend. Shots ringing in my ears, I leaped for the hole in the fence and stumbled into the darkness beyond. So, Nightingale. I don't think he's a friend. I had huh. to find the key to the garage. Handy. A story is not a machine that does what you tell it. A story is a beast with a life of its own. You can create it, shape it, but as the story grows, it starts wanting things of its own. Change one thing and you set off a chain reaction of events that spreads through the whole thing. The characters have to be true to themselves. The events need to follow a logic that fits the story. A single flaw and the magic is gone. The story dies. Alice dies. We can't have Alice dying. You can learn about nature and yourself. Who was that? Is he in here? Yeah. Get out of here. Into the vehicle. Alright. Given us flare gun and a whole bunch of flare gun ammo. Things I was facing. So I'm assuming that. Whoa! Whoa! coming buddy it was the kidnapper you son of a bitch where's my wife enough horseplay wake you deliver the manuscript and you can have your woman back simple as that I don't listen listen I'm gonna need time to finish it I still need to write the ending I need a week it's not done I need a week two days the old Bright Falls coal mine is nearby you can find it easy city boy the main building, there at noon. You bring the manuscript, you'll get your wife. Not, well, uh, get me. Yes, yes, I, I get you. God, look at all those birds. I'm coming, Barry. 
Barry had talked about birds over the phone. Grab all the, definitely grab all the things. Al! Al, I am so glad you're here. A couple of them got in here before I blocked the chimney. This isn't normal. These birds are weird. You don't say, Barry. You don't say. Save Barry from the birds. I'm, I'm sorry for thinking you were having a psychotic episode, man. It's all right, buddy. I sent Barry to the town to ask around about a man fitting the kidnapper's description. He'd go through the archives of the local paper. Perhaps he could learn something. Anything about the island and the cabin that had disappeared. The man wanted a manuscript. I had to try to write him one to get Alice back. That's some pressure. That'll get you, get you out of your writer's block, block probably. Yeah, I hope so. For me, the supernatural had always been nothing but a metaphor for the human psyche. A tool to use in writing fiction. Now, it was happening for real. And I couldn't put a single word on paper. Barry Wheeler speaking. This is Rose. Rose? I Oh, you sweet, brilliant girl. Could you and Mr. Wake come get them? I live in the trailer park outside the town. We'll be there in less than an hour. See you soon. Hmm, she Have wasn't a, a chip day. herself. Hope you come back soon. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the old dear diner. Good girl. All right. Well, I reckon we're going to leave this episode here. Perfect place to leave the end of episode two. So guys, like always, thank you so much for coming to hang out with me today. I really appreciate it. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on the next installment of Alan Wake. Catch you in the next one. Ciao.